I have kings. $1,700 and a shite ton of chips. Oh, it's worth so much. It's worth so, so much. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hello. My name is Pav. I'm 29 and I play poker full time on Twitch. Enjoy this highlight. They call me the collector. Mm -hmm. Got a three back class, see, but anyway, guys, uh, welcome. I will be playing the 10k today. $10,300 today event, super millions on GG. I saw 74%, which is good enough for me. Good enough for me. How about this run out? He could three bet, C bets, check, check, turn. Me the collector. It's gonna big bet. I don't think he's gonna fold an ace if he three bets like tiny with like even like a six here. Oh, I don't think he's gonna fold if he has like a six of diamonds. I'll go 19. Discount. Raise up the ace queen. Okay, I'm gonna call ace queen. That's what I do. I don't fold ace queen. Not the best flop. I've got a lot of obvious continues, a lot of pseudo broadways and sets here. He's still gonna have like all of the pseudo broadways himself. I've got two of us with the ace of clubs for a small size. I will peel. If you played like bet 60 and fold, for small, I will call. But yeah, you need to calm down. Interesting. I think I'm gonna check because. He still has some ace jack, ace nine suited that can play check raise because I have a lot of obvious clubs and hearts and queen ten that can bet. Obviously, I can still bet ace queen, so I feel like he just has such a natural spot to play check raise in that turn as well. I guess I just call. Like he still has those nutted hands I, I'm speaking about. Like I could try and get value from like queens kings, a blocking queens. So it's like not thrilling, but I think call is a little bit. I mean, it's, it's close to a raise as well for sure. What's good is he can't really. What's good is he can't. Uh, I mean, the seven is a total brick here, pretty much. I mean, I'm, I'm targeting like what exactly? Like queens, kings, ace ten suited, a bit of ace eight suited. Yeah, for the small size, it's tough to just play the call, but I did. And I saw the good news, but also the bad news. All right, two point seven call call two pair but my range won't play really much raise here in the big blind like i very rarely raise this board heads up versus button i'm gonna basically never do it multi versus small oh very nice safe turn a rainbow four Sus the pretty rainbow chart. And if there was any chance of me playing a turn check raise, it's not going to be on a complete brick. <clears throat> it's more likely to be on like, well, not with this exact combo, but like my range would probably play check raise or like lead on a five, maybe like 10 or a nine with a with a suit on the board. Check, check, turn. I think my range mainly plays smaller size. I need to big bet here. You know, I'm just going to bluff for a smaller size there with like some queen 10. I wonder if I would bluff like six, five suited, maybe make this guy fold sevens. You know, it's kind of cool. The chip up continues here. 124k from 100 starting. Considering squeezing, but pretty want some higher cards. I mean, under the gun hijack, not thrilling to squeeze because obviously tight ranges. Probably squeeze a little bit more under the gun cutoff, but still. Kind of want to raise. Fuck an A6 suited, that's gonna account for something. Got some backdoor equity. I'm gonna have more trips as a whole. And Ace has equity versus Kings. Seems quite reasonable. Daniel Devorah should never really flat 6x in the hijack here, so it's obviously like really good board for me. I'm gonna follow this one through. Alright, works out. <laughs> On that river I might check though. <laughs> Could have some shit on value. Against fives. Anyway. I have 1.48x starting. Very nice. Over here, I need wasabi tray balls, I call. This is big blind hijack. These spots are pretty tricky. I'm not going to play any flop raise. 
I'm still gonna have like some aces here. I mean, I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna fall that much in general. Like what, 66, 67 effective, hijack big blind. So I still have a lot of these over pairs as well. Not that I'm gonna talk about folding turn here, but just gotta keep that in mind that it will likely affect how they play their turn because I'm still quite strong. So I could actually bet the turn for a little bit of protection because, you know, like I said, I still got this overpass on my range, but, and I don't get check raise as much. Quite annoying. Um, I much prefer having sevens over like nines and tens here because he's going to bet check about some jack nine, ten nine suited, jack ten suited. So having sevens, sixes, fives here is far better than having nines, tens, jacks. Um, he will have king, queen, and ace, queen suited. Well, he'll, he'll have ace, queen offset really heavy, ace, queen suited pure, king, queen suited pretty heavy. So the queen's not thrilling. But I think I want to call this hand a lot more than 9s and 10s, so I'm going to call this one. Yes, Ace Queen, no, unfortunately. But I think a hand like 10 9, Jack 9, Jack 10 suited are all hands that just don't want to brow that turn, so I think I have a really clean bluff catch. Uh, calling. I'll play check raise on the flop. I'm pretty much top of range. I get to make him fold like all of his boss have over cards versus you know, like king 10, jack 10, queen jack. So that even just like getting value from ace king, it's all great. You know, sometimes you just get it in dead here against an over pair, but that's okay. That's tournament poker. I'm here to play my range correctly, and I feel like this is just the way to play nines here. I will bluff like some king 10 suited myself here. Nice to get that one through. Back up above starting stack. I'm gonna dunk 10% here. And I'm gonna, I think, shove over this because he's just gonna have a lot of draws himself. But he could also be bluffing like some Queen 10. But I'm gonna shove because when he covers for a bounty, I think he pure raises even a hand like ace four of spades here. So if he pure raises all those combo draws, I think shoving is a lot better. That's a bit sad. Out of the 500, 437 in bounties though. Nine seven eight defend see what one third call takes to the river. I guess I call here. I'm not gonna share cards with them, which is really nice. That is a nice flop. But then like where do I draw the line? Like five, six, six, seven suited, I'll be happy to overcall them as well. I will bet a third. Hopefully big blind gets saucy with no equity. <laughs> Hopefully Big Blind gets saucy with Queen 10, 1 Diamond. Just fuck all equity. Alright, that's a saucy play. I mean, do I just want to shove and run equity versus a bunch of his flush draws that will probably do this? I would probably prefer to shove like Ace 8 suited and flat 8 9 because the 9's good for his barreling range. And a 9 just kind of blocks more of his natural bluffs. Isn't this a hand already, chat? Does he pure bet all of his diamonds? Because if he checks some of them, then I probably want to play a heavy bet on the turn. I could always just check the turn and let him like raise, check, bet, like jack 10 of spades. So, you know, I think check is probably the play. Give him jack 10 and then drop a nine. Wouldn't I be hilarious? River's good because he makes some top pairs. My bet, check back, river bluffs. It's like queen jack of diamonds, sure. Five, six suited. Do I shove over this? He could have 9-6 suited. Is he even going to call a 10 if I jam? God, it seems so bad not to jam over it. But with 9-6 getting there and Jack-9 getting there, it seems kind of whatever champ as well. This might be a bad just call. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? That's disgusting. At least I don't get stuck, but Jesus. I mean, to not even chop, but he gets there. Disgusting. Thought I had that pot locked up, chat. I really did. I mean, why wouldn't I, right? But happy about it. Um, I'm pretty sure I can mix hijack button for... I'm not even showing it, sorry. Hijack button for sub 20 here. 
I'm gonna shove this one. It's just as well to, you know, fight out those offset broadways. I'm gonna mix it though. First cut off or do a heavy throw back, Jesus. Well, I'm dead. I can just hope for kings. I can both have kings, we'll do it. Oh my god, that's what you want to see when you shove Ace-4 suited and no club on the flop. Fucking hell, dude. Out of the 10k. There's eight players left, though. We have a hand now. Uh, I'm not going to fold this beautiful looking hands, but it does start getting close because we have a 15, 11, and 13 big blind stack. And he's 3 bidding on the button. He lost least on the button. But I call. Alright, I got myself a shitty pair with a cool draw. We're looking for, like, not this board, but you know, you still take it. 10 spade, 10 spade, 10 spade. Oh my god, your brother's a flush. Oh my god. That's hella annoying. Honestly, he's not gonna bluff much there pre. With ICM, I, I thought about just folding up pre, but at the same time, it just seems like it's too strong to fold. And chipping up there as well is like so huge. Making the final, getting into the final table, the top three stack instead of just sitting like seventh there. Or like, you know, bottom three stack. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this pot and tell me you don't believe in love. Come on, who hurt you, chat? Tell me you believe in it. Who hurt you? She wasn't worth it. $243 bounty by F Deep. Oh my god, I wish I didn't shove the aces on him. I covered him, right? So annoyed at myself. So, so, so annoyed at myself. But it's okay. I'm going to move on from it. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 all right, I'm all in chat. Wah, 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 wah. Saluta. Fuck. All right, let's go. $243, he's soft bubbles. It hurts. It hurt me watching that card roll off, mate. I... Probably raise Cole because he would take all the right pseudo combos covering me. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he takes like six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine pure here. Turn is just not bringing anything fun, is it? Okay. I'm in the money of the uh, 300 masters. Bet flop, bet turn. You can have some king X of diamonds, but I just have a nice follow through. I'm going to value jam a queen here. I'll probably value jam a lot of 10x as well. I got jack nine. Very okay, nice to get that through. Uh oh, come on, lucky ace, lucky ace baby, lucky ace though, yikers, makikers, we're good, we are excelente in fact though, wow that's a nice chip up. After losing 8 to Kings, I now have found myself a cheeky chip up. 170k, 17 starting sacks for the bounty. Always the fucking same. I know, it's bullshit. Hey, I'm happy to run it. Well, I'm not super happy. I'd rather forex the spades, but hey, here we are. I mean, yeah, we're stacking up. I cover for two bounties. If Swan is about a flush draw, it's not great. But I can just turn the jack of clubs, so it's all good. 7, 4, 8 spade, 8 spade, 8 spade. Hello, hello. Hey, don't give me a hallelujah after post-break poggers? Any post-break poggers in the chat? We are six hours and nine minutes into the stream. And one thing I'm absolutely sure of, I'm going to make money today. I said it. You're going to cash on more than $20,000 per Yes, I am. Hear me when I say it. It's all over. Bird Rover. Over here, chat. Turns, I'm all in. Cover for $431. He 3x as well. 
Pretty exciting. Get the same hand by the way, low over here. Let's go. Lack is love. See you later, mate. I do not cover, but I am still excited to potentially double and have more than a starting stack. Potench. Very potench. Ugh, oh, God. Queen. Queen. Out of the 600. Out of this one as well, close to the money, what a shame. Needed that one. Five! <laughs> there you go, stone boobs. Stone boobs, mate. Stone boobs. This man's got 133, he's laughing with his chips. He might just flick it in for the kicks. Any misclicks? Yikers. I stone bubbled like this little poor sucker that I am. That's it, y'all make the money and I don't. 212 in bounties, are not bad for a gorilla. 5.4 check check, 5.4 probathon with the gutter. I probe pot with three outs, how pathetic. Yikes. Um, guess I shove. I mean, he folds eights, he folds a seven probs. I guess I shove. No snap. Fold. I ship up there. My man's got 740. My man's got 942. Guys, slow down here. 61 players left. What are we playing for? Oh, about 40 G's probs. Holy moly. Gonna defend. Remember that time you guys were lolling about breaking even and then I just went kablam step one of winning this tournament is complete 20 steps to go I kablammed him What? I'm in love <laughs> I mean he's gonna have like king queen of hearts that checks back floppy so It's gonna bet and put all the money in and say kablam Sausage me right now kiddo You dog. It has to be at the nut flush. What else is he checking back with there, right? Queen Jack of fucking hearts? Sure, I could hope. What a joke he is. What an absolute joke he is that is, though. Check call or limp call, sorry. I don't know why I slid the scroller all the way to the right. Like, here we go. Buckle up. That's flag 40, which is interesting. Obviously, calling turn. Jesus. Love it. I'm not gonna dunk on any river. Although, if there were a river to dunk, maybe like 10, uh, this would be one of the cards, like 10 on, 10 on with the heart I could find. But I'm gonna have like, Jack 10. I mean, I'm not sure if he loves Valley Jamming Aces, but... This is with the heart he probably should, because I'm going to have like Queen 7, Queen 8, Queen 6, Queen 10, Jack 10. Anyway, catch a really lucky card there. But don't want to play Jam because it just doesn't exist, and you can still follow through there with like 10 5, with 10 of hearts or something. Like even King of Hearts 5, shit like that, I think it's pretty decent to bluff with. Oh. I'm going to limp to allow me to reopen the action. That's not good. Man, I wish Button got this in. <laughs> I mean, I want to bet and check. I'll bet because I'm deep with the blinds. If they have a nine, getting all the money in is great now. They could raise some 4x, I can raise some clubs. Not going to play 3 bet here. I don't think I want to play any of that. Even though getting all the money in against, like, getting this guy to put his money in is good, right? If he, like, just calls here and bricks a flush draw and then, like, Chuck folds turn. Like, just folds turn, it's not great. But he can always just shove here and then this guy can just, like, go wild. Wow. 
He's just going to call 4x here as well. So I'm not going to re-raise because he can just call 4x. Jesus Christ, this is a massive one chat. I don't cover this guy, but it's okay. A lot of chips on the line here. Rook. It takes strength to be gentle and kind, chat. I mean, I think I just want to continue to play Cole here. The problem is there are action killers and I will bluff some club draws to make him fold some Forex. I think I just want to call though. I think I'm just guessing about having turn raise there. I think mainly it's just call. He's going to have worse line extra. I'm excited. My heart's pumping. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Didn't expect to see a non all in. I'm pretty sure she'd only be playing shove. I get it, I have a wide range, but like I'm not going to reach the river with like... Actually, I do have a bit of 4 and 7x probably because I'm limping free for this bound too. He folds. Wow. This guy flatting pre helped me so much. He should have shoved. This guy would have been more incentivized to get it in then. Wow, that's a big one. Sitting second. Calling. I'm not going to get baited. Um, it's kind of funky because I want. I would bet any pair. I'll just check. I got ten high. It doesn't matter. Like even if I bet here and he calls, he's going to be ahead of me. So like, there's just no point in me even bluffing. The thing is, like, if he has a hand like Jack Ten, you know, getting all the money and just running it for the bounty is nice, you know. But kind of funny. Also, I don't want to put money in here when this guy's not going to fold much. I can just, I'd rather call point one big blinds than better big blind myself. He's probably got a pair here, but he wants to pay jump, so he's tanking. I'll have to drill a 7 0. Wow. I mean, I'm dead. He would just not put money in on the turn with that top pair. I'm dead. I could bet a big blind, and then maybe Justin would call with like ace 5 here. But it seems hella unlikely to peel that one. Right, chat? He's not going to peel a worse hand here for a big blind, I don't think. Like, there's just no way I win. Like, I would only believe I win if we weren't on a pay jump here. He's just always got a queen. It's sad. It's so sad. He should definitely still check the turn, though, and try and get that ladder. Like, 0.1 big blinds is not going to be worth more than tanking and trying to get that ladder. It's crazy. Hello. Now, the bounty is not worth much here, so I'm not going to go bananas. I'm just going to... Play call. I'll call a small blind fold versus big blind jamming. Big one. Ace high. Mm-hmm. 61 of them. 61 is not the case. It's 77 now. Huge one. 740 bucks. Let's go. Shipping up. Getting out of this hole right now. These damn 10Ks, they're going to get you in the hole, aren't they, chap? They're going to punish you, these 10Ks. Holy fuckery. $1,700 bounty. Buckle up, boys. Buckle up. Holy fuckery. Buckle up. Come on. Come on, club. 7895. 7 8. What a lame turn. 7 8 for 1700. 7 of spades. Chat, how am I not getting there? That's a bit weird. If you guys are still enjoying this video, hit the thumbs up button. I'm aiming for 1,000 likes every video. Cheers, enjoy. Just sucks if he shoves because he can just jam over me. Don't worry about me. Well, the good news is he might be expanding to like Jack Six suited here for that guy's bounty to his left and just calling off even versus the cutoff. That's the good news. I'm gonna play the call though. I mean, it's just a small bound too. I mean, these guys got nice. So does that one really. It still affects his stack if he plays. Like, he can't open crazy wide, right? Like, not the biggest bounty. Him losing 11 big blinds, pretty not great. It's close to a check raise. Like, if they all had a little bit more bounties, or if these guys were a little bit shorter, I might check raise a little bit heavier. Just gonna play call. He's gonna have ace four, ace five, king ten, queen ten, king queen perhaps as well. I think we might be a bit of an overbluff though. That's a very, 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 very comforting river. 
launch that queen turn. King turn gets there. But is he going to value gem King Jack A Shack anymore? Probs not. Oh, buddy! Yeah, interesting. It was a better bluff if he was like launching Ace 10, 6 times better, but. I don't know, not a great river for him to continue. He's probably better off just launching on a king and an ace, and then... I mean, the queen's pretty good for me as well, you know? He might have more queen, queen x as a whole, like, he might just pure bet, like, queen 5 suited, you know? Like I said, he's opening pretty wide pretty. Anyway, that's a great chip up. Show you I'm the type to... Oh, yes! Limpies! Interesting. I don't want to size up so I can get the stackies here, like 3.8 or something. It's like he's gonna have um he's gonna have like you know 4-3 here. Worst 5x still. Oh that's a good spot, isn't it, chat? Don't be that a good spot. Don't be that a good spot, chat. Hello. That's six hundred and two dollars right there. I spotted a six hundo. I L spotted a six hundo chat. It's not the worst ISO. I know people typically like to go more polar, but I think at 40 it does okay to just like make him fall 10 5, jack 5, jack 4, queen 4. I'm gonna play raise. I think his range wants to play like 80 plus percent check on this board. Like he's not gonna have jack 3 or 4 through. So I raise, bit of protection. I mean, like, clearing out equity from just like 7 8 is pretty decent. When he calls, it goes check check on the turn a lot. I get a free card. So it's kind of like, if he has a hand like jack 7, jack 8, jack 9, jack 10, like they're just going to call and it goes check check. But if I call turn, if I just call flop, he potentially bets the same amount or even bigger on the turn. So kind of does like wonders in that regard as well. Like he won't get me for any more. And I get the clear equity. And sometimes, you know, I can river a straight, turn trips, whatever. I don't know if this is worth anything because he can still have some better two pairs. He has a slither of Asex, but not much, honestly. I need a little bit more time to think about this. I've got four seconds. I'm just going to side check back, but it's. This seems like over C betting or over betting the flop. Lena's still in the tournament. 16 blinds. Cleo, Jesus, you scared me, love. I'm gonna play check call. He's gonna have a still a very tight range. He's gonna flat nines and eights pure pre, I would say. The problem with the turn bet is it just gets cold so much. So do I prefer playing check raise? Cleo, I need to get you off the table. If you misclick, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna check now because he's gonna have sevens. So you're still very bad at six. He bluffs some hearts here, like King Jack, King Queen of Hearts, Ace Deuce of Hearts. I'm just gonna call because like I said, he still has boats here. But yeah, it is like, I do have a very good hand, so I could play raise because, you know, pretty much top of range. But I don't think I'm meant to. Nice, over bluff Andy, massive pot. Sweet. Just gonna pure limp this one. This doesn't really have any good properties to bet the flop. You know, it blocks their folding range. I don't want to barrel dead on the turn, so I'll just play check and give up here. I will bet... What will I bet on? I'll probably bet on any 8 or 10. I will bet on an ace. A queen and a jack, though, aren't very appealing. A jack is more appealing than a queen, but an ace is the best card. Although, to be fair, we'll be shoving a lot of ace x prey, but I'll also be limping a little bit. Like, I'll be limping some small suited aces here. I'll also delay better 6 here, like always. I don't mind betting river for pot, because he can still have queen highs, jack highs. I think I've got a great hand to pot. I'm actually going to play... I could play 150, but pot seems good enough. Wow, I'm just aiming to fight out queen highs, and he peels it still. I'm only value betting a king and an ace. I'm not value betting, like, queen six suited there, so... I think it's still good. I like it. I did expect him to fall that pretty often. Yeah, I like it a lot. I think my hand's well played. I love the flop jack and I love one of the best cards to bet on. And River, obviously, I'm going to play a polar strat. 
I could even play like 150, 200, but I think that works decent. I really thought it'd be enough to make a vote a queen. It's a good call by him. Like he's struggling to find bluffs for me, isn't he? Like I think a lot of people just think, oh, he's just betting range on a flop. Like I don't think a lot of people think that I'm checking back some like 10, 9, 10, 8 there. Jack 10. We're not on the stone bubble, we're still two from an FT, so I think it's important not to just pass up in the spot and try and make the FT and, you know, double S stack via the rollback. Oh my god, just more race folding. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Over here, kings into jack nine. I don't even know what happens. Did he limp kings maybe on the button? Well. My hand for hands. I did FT bubble this one like a month ago. Surely not, chat. You know, every time I say that kind of stuff, I think of this I think of this story someone said on the Joe Rogan podcast, I believe. Where it's like there's a person skiing through the forest. And oh my goodness. And as they're skiing, six, there's seven. As they're skiing, they're saying to themselves, don't hit a tree, don't hit a tree, don't hit a tree, don't hit a tree, don't hit a tree. And what are they gonna do? They're gonna hit a tree because they're telling themselves not to hit a tree, so it's the only thing on their mind. So if you start if you rewire yourself and you start saying like can't wait to FT, I'm gonna play so good here. You know, apart from like, oh hey, I FT bubbled this one a month ago. Just putting it up. Anyway, long story short, we're not the short stack. 9 of 10, there's going to be a rollback. The current average stack is 25 big blinds in this tournament. So I'll have something like 25, 24 if we FT. All right, guess I'm taking this one. Good spot versus a big stack. Could still call King Queen. That's a really important one to get through. Wow, 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 wow. He plays. Did he open shove? He did. And he hits it. No. No. Not like this, dude. Not like this. This guy limps bets. Alright, cool. We'll have a little bit of King High as a bet flop. Need some protection. Get called by some worse hands for the equity, blah, blah, blah. I will check because I think it's a pretty nice play from him to like pure check Rosie's draws on a turn because people probably over better four. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to play like 2x pot very often because the problem with potting is it's so obvious to find the buff of the four here. But I'll check a bit of- I won't check that much jack x, that's the thing I'll- I feel like I need to play 2x pot or like at least 150. Although, oh Jesus. Doing it. Nice. Alright, so we might see a final table here, in which case the average stack of 22 big blinds now, we're going to almost double our stack. We just need a jack or a six here, or some green, goddamn. Nine of clubs. Bro, are we getting any sweats here? Like 90% on a flop? Stop it. <sighs> Pick up jacks. Pick up jacks. Might see a button launch the smaller pair. Where's the Bowser? I'm going to play one big. I'm gonna play bet 60. On any heart, I will still shove. On a spade, I will think about it. Maybe fold it a queen, or maybe just had a jack. Okay, we might see a call here, chat. Six more big, small bounty, but he's a big sack, so it could be a be using. He'd have to be pretty wide to race fold here, though. Like, he could fold, like, ace eight offsuit, though. Holy shit. These guys are all in. We could see a double knock it, actually. He plays raise coal. Oh my god, black attack. Come on, king three black. King three black. Jeez, a lug. This guy calls anyway. <laughs> Come on, can someone get knocked out here, man? What is going on? Queen Jack 10. Queen Jack 10. I've got a jack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fuck. How does no one getting knocked out, dude? That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. The amount of chance I could be an FT right now. This could very well be eight handed chat. Why was he even thinking like that would affect his decision if this guy busted or not? Interesting. Oh my god. Look at these stacks now. We got. 2014, 18, 16, 18. On this table, 15, 18, 14, 14. Like, no one has more than 22 bigs here. Like, it's insanity. Trying to get that pay jump. Not getting it. I'm out of the high par, guys. I have kings. 
I have kings. $1,700 and a shite ton of chips. If they can't knock him out, I'll knock him out. Oh, it's worth so much. It's worth so, so much. Oh, I just need to hold that. It's worth so much. I'll be chip lead and then the stacks will double. I'll have bounties. I have the last seat change as well. Oh my God, that is worth so much. Fuck. Ray, shove, coal. <sighs> Come on, please. How many times we got to run this one to make the F2? Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. How many times, chat? Okay. It's nothing. $1,300. Shove, queen, 10, ace, queen, call. It didn't show it, but there it is. Final table. I've got 795,000 chips, which is like 6.9 big blinds or something. Okay, so I almost tripled my stack because the average stack got so shallow, so it has to be an average stack of 40 big blinds. Could find some rays here. I don't mind some rays here because he shuts down a lot when I call on jack highs, I think. Like, my range is quite def um, condensed when I play check call on this flop. So I think playing it aggressively makes more sense, especially when you can still see a bit of hand like tenders. Oh my god. Oh my god, such crap. 9600 for first, finished 10th. Actually, no, I finished 9th. FT bubble, great. Cash for 8,9775. Gonna raise fold the ace 10. Wonderful. Hmm. All right, so we have a board worth continuing on. Cool. I suppose I have a mandatory turn call as well. If he checks, probably check back. Mandatory turn call IMO. He's going to like pure barrel all five and four X combos. Shouldn't it be super suited heavy? But also battle of his six X. He won't have any king highs. He'll have king six, but that might just shove preflop as well. I'd rather have the queen of clubs, but he will shove a lot of suited hands preflop, so it's almost good that I don't have a club here because he has like a good excuse to launch off with one club combos. This is the type of guy that's capable of launching, I think. This is the guy who had aces versus me when he ISOed queen nine three five. We ISOed and then see back forty percent. On queen nine three, and then like about eighty percent on a five, bringing in a draw. But like I said, I'm not too worried about flushes because his suited hands likely shove pre. Like I think a hand like five four suited, six seven suited, all that is such nice gems. So I think basically what he rocks up with here is shit like seven five, eight five, nine five. Even a hand like well, I guess he's not gonna just know I could he barrel over like nine eight. So got a lot of time to think about it at least. I check back a slither of Asex. So I've got a bit of. There's three, six, there's six, three. I've got some suited hands as well. Is he going to try? I don't know if he's just trapping enough, right? I don't think this guy, $55 ABI, is going to find enough traps. Basically, I think he finds not enough traps pre, like limping ASX hands, but tends to just, we'll just end up over bluffing post. And I think suited hands are quite um, natural shoves for like everyone. So I just think he rocks up with a lot of like seven, five, nine, five, ten, five, jack, five, queen, five, one club. Cool, chat. Block ace, queen of diamond. Cool. <laughs> The only issue is, since he needs to bluff with like an offsuit 4 and 5, he probably mucks hands like 10, 5, 9, 5, 9, 4 preflop. Because they just, I mean, unless he's just V-pipping a bunch, which I don't know if he is in that spot. Like that typically, that just, that folds preflop. If he doesn't fold them pre, then I really want to call. If he does fold them pre, I just kind of run out of bluffs for him quickly, in fact. Because he's not going to find zero equity turn barrels with like, well, I don't think he is going to find like a 7, 8 turn barrel, you know? <sighs> That being said, he can't have many natural two pairs. Like if he's like having six three and six two, it's just gonna fold pre as well then, right? But if he doesn't have six, if he doesn't have nine five nine four, he won't have those two pairs at least. But what is he gonna overbluff here? I love having queen three over three four. I know that queen three is better than three four. 
Having a club is irrelevant here. He may limp some pseudo combos like Jack 10, 10, 9 pseudo, maybe, but I think people just shove that. Is he over bluffing enough here? He shoves King 6 pre. He's not going to bet turn with King through. Oh my god. He's got aces, ace, king pseudo. I'm just, I'm banking on him calling too much pre flop. That's what I'm doing. I'm banking on him calling too much pre flop. That's where this call is coming from, if you guys are wondering. Do I have enough though? Do I have enough to call instead? Do I have enough? Do I like the queen being a diamond and not a club? I think I do. I think I do. I would much rather have like 8-3, eight, 8 of clubs here. Because if he does limp any part of his pseudo range, it's going to be in the middling, most likely. So I'd rather have 8-3 with a club, I guess. This guy just... I think this type of dude is just going to fucking launch it off. Just because, you know, <laughs> of all the commentary I've had with him and I'm streaming, it seems like a natural blast off. I think I'm going to call this one shot. Here we go. Ugh, he has 6-3. Oh, so he's limping wide enough to be bluffing 9-5, 10-5 then if he has 6-3. Just sucks blocking his two pairs. Tough to fold that one. Like I said, not very suited heavy. God damn it. King 5, King 4 checks turn. I think at least. Even if it does bet the turn, I don't know if he plays River Shove too much, so I'm not going to give him King 4 for Valley that much. Damn it. I'm out. I have 12,200 in caches. One table left. This is 10930k. 19 players left. Up top is 6,500 plus bounties. Win it to break even. Well, win it to make money. Let's say hit an ace here. Okay, a lot of equity for him. A lot of equity for him. Gets it. Cash for just around 700, so 318. 0.75 plus 363.15. So total caches is 12885.25 minus 21,225. Lost 8339 today, which is not too bad after playing the 10k, but I think I played well today. I think I played well. We got some more cat pictures here. Maisie with a, geez, pure white. Looks like a doll. Wow. Looks a bit like a lamb, hey? So gorge. Sus the gorge. Aww, family. Wow, look at that. That's such an interesting color, eh? Dude, there is no way this is real. And it must be, right? It's, this is not like a, a gif. Wow, look at this little thing. <laughs> I reckon that would make me sneeze so much. Anyway, chat, thanks for watching. If you guys want to improve your poker game and you want to do it for a very, very cheap price, I recommend the Upswing Lab. Just type in exclamation Upswing. It's $99 a month. If you have not used my code before, use it. The first time you use it, you get $25 off any product, $99 or more. So you can get the first month of the lab for $74. There's like hundreds of hours of content on there. There's live play, there's cash games, there's Zoom, there's obviously tournaments. There's a way to build your game up from the ground. Like they have like an amateur section and they have like plenty explains for like, you know, if you want to go a little bit deeper, they've got modules, they've got everything for an extremely affordable price. So exclamation upswing, go check it out. That is not a real... Bruh. This is like funny as to shave a cat like this. You leave the legs and the face. Look at this creature, dude. Look at this creature. Is this not terrifying? If I was a guest in your home and I saw this, I would take a back step. But I love the cat pictures, guys. Gave my cat a lion cut today. Well done, Brewer. Big fan of it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Talk soon, guys. I don't do handshakes, people.